I'm Agent One. I'm Agent Two. From, From the, the Super League Disciplinary Board. How can I help you, gentlemen? I have a game to prepare for. Sorry, Coach, but you won't be making the game. Oh, really? And why's that? Your coaching license has expired. I'm finally here. My heart is pounding. 50,000 fans screaming. I can't get my breath. The whistle sounding. With every ounce of effort, every skill that I've got, I'll play the Super League's greatest. Give them my best shot. Every minute of the night, and now I'm going to be a fighter. It's one, two, three. I'm a super striker. Striker. Can I deal with this later? I've got to prepare my boys for the... Super League Rule 8.43. Unlicensed coaches may not instruct their teams in any way. Now, if you'll come with us, sir. Hmm. Coach secured. On our way to headquarters. Coachman, where are you at? Super League headquarters. My coaching license has expired. What? I have to redo the Super League coaching test before I can come to the game. <laughs> They're making you renew your license? I thought Coach was born with one. Yeah, I mean, even the other coaches call you Coach. Uh... And the game plan for Iron Tank? Yeah. 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 Kind of need that, coach. <sighs> I'm not allowed to give you any advice. But what I can say is, this is all just a flash in the pan. Don't let it drive you crazy. You're in good form. Sorry I'm beating around the bush. I gotta go. I'll call you as soon as I'm done. But the game is starting in... <gasps> Welcome to Super League Headquarters. Maybe it's just as well Coach is banned. Because that was the worst motivational speech I've ever heard! Made no sense at all! Hmm, maybe it wasn't meant to. So what? It was like a code or something? Flash in pan. Drive you crazy. In good form. Beat around bush. Flash. Drive. In bush. All right, applicants. Please state your name and motivation for taking the coaching test. Hi, I'm Helena. And I want to become the greatest Super League coach ever. And crush all who stand in my way! <laughs> mm hmm. Next. Uh, hello there. I am Norman. Or Norm. Or whatever you want. <laughs> <clears throat> I am here because of my aptitude for tactical innovation. And finally. Sir? Hello? I'm Coach. <gasps> and I'm here because I have a game to win. Anyone have any luck? Nice. Coach has come up with 
three ways to get past Iron Tank's defense. <laughs> nice one, Coach. Hmm. But we need someone with natural coaching skills to interpret these tactics. Move aside. <laughs> Follow these squiggly lines and watch out for the big X's. They look dangerous. Ah! Seriously, oh, dude. Helpful, El Matador. Guys, El Matador isn't wrong. Those X's are the most dangerous thing in the Super League right now. Colonel Von Push-Up's troops have been blunting the league's best attacks with their new defensive formation. It's gonna take a stroke of genius from Coach to win this one. But the first thing he needs to do is actually show up for the game. What could possibly be more important than this? Today, we will be testing if you have what it takes to be a Super League coach. And the fact that I've won the trophy three times doesn't count? The rules are the rules. I must say, coach, I'm surprised you let your license expire. As far as I know, I didn't. Stop right there, sir. You do know my team is playing right now. How am I supposed to follow the game? I sympathize, Coach. Really, I do. But... <sighs> the rules are the rules. Super Strike is on the attack. But they have to find a way through the ultimate defensive formation. Two lines of giant mountain men. The Iron Curtain. Strategy one. We play a one two around the Iron Curtain. from Super Strikers. But not sharp enough to cut through the curtain. Colonel Von Push-Up wins the first round of the tactical battle. Not too hard when your opposite number doesn't show up. Making the right tactical choices at the right time wins matches. In your first test, you must adjust the formation of your team to outmatch computer-generated scenarios. These will be a challenge even for you, Coach. Done. <laughs> huh? Excellent work. Now, let's try a slightly more difficult scenario, shall we? Oh, right again. How about... <laughs> Got anything else? He's gone through all of them. What's next? I feel like just being around him has made me a better coach. Do you think you'll sign my face? Super Strike is on the attack again. Can they do better this time? Strategy two. We chipped a ball over the Iron Curtain. Again, this looks promising for Super Strikers. <laughs> ah! Ah! But once again, the Iron Curtain closes in their faces. Looks like Coach got some intel to his team. He didn't prepare for this. Don't worry. Without him here to call the shots, it's curtains for Super Strikers. The second test puts you up against one of the most cunning and devious forces in football, the press. 
Somehow, but that... One moment, please. I've forgotten my new password. Have you tried one, two, three, four? Or password. I always use password. You did switch it off and on again. Hmm. Not the kind of security protocol you'd expect at Super League headquarters. Yeah, something is up. What do you mean? To make it as a coach, you need three things. Motivation, tactics, and gut instinct. And my gut feels worse than when I ate that egg sandwich I found on the striker bus. <laughs> it was a tactical risk. Now listen up. I've got very little time to work out what's going on here. I could really use a couple of assistant coaches. <gasps> okay, sorted. Who's first? Norman. Question one. You're about to face Invincible United. How do you plan to deal with Skara? I have a, um, couple of ideas. I would use deep-lying center halves to stop Scar from getting in the space behind the defensive lines. Then, my inverted wingbacks would cut out danger from the wide areas. When Scar is forward, the wingbacks are back. When Scar is back, the wingbacks are forward. Understand? Great. Now, uh, stage two is where things get a little more complicated. So, you want to tell me what's going on? I don't think my license expired by chance, but I need proof. You're in good form? I'm beating around the bush? It just doesn't make sense. Stop obsessing about it. It isn't your job, Agent One. And where are we going to find this proof? Security footage. tells me that the test doesn't entirely prepare one for being a coach. You have no idea. Oh. <laughs> hmm. We need to find an access card. Not necessarily. Sometimes force is the best way to get through a strong defense. All right, let's start with last night. Uh, are you watching all those screens at the same time? Huh. When you have to analyze five hours of game highlights a day, you get used to it. Malfunction? Or someone trying to cover their tracks. Well, I and Tank seem very happy to hold out for the draw. And Super Strikers are desperate to claim a precious home win. Strategy tree. Make dummy runs to open some space in the middle. I'll handle the rest. Super Strikers make attacking runs. But Dancing Rasta can't find the pass. Oh, but it's all a setup. And Iron Tank fell for it. <laughs> So close! But Iron Tank's defense is impenetrable. Now more than ever, Super Strikers need their coach. <sighs> Do you guys remember what we talked about in the first half of the practice? Apparently not, because that was garbage! How'd it go? I think I got my point across. <laughs> speech is one of a coach's most important jobs and your final test. It's funny, you know. I have a speech planned, but it's not for you. 
It's for my team, out there, fighting and struggling without me. And the worst part? I've been set up. The hole in the window, new passwords, missing security footage, you've had a break in. And my license just happens to expire the day we take on Iron Tank? Read between the lines, people. Hmm. Between the lines? You've reached Coach. Why are you calling me? It's match day. <sighs> Come on, guys. We can't give up now. All we need to do is... Uh, nope. I got nothing. Man, this coaching thing is tough. Helena? Norman? Unfortunately, you'll have to try again. <laughs> Coach, you did very, very, very well. <gasps> huh? Hey! Aren't you gonna save her the moment or something? We've got five minutes until the second half starts. If I don't get a message to my boys, I've failed as a coach. License or not. Does that mean you found... A way to tear down the Iron Curtain. You two coming? Don't give up, guys. Coach will pull through for us. I know it. Why are you calling me? It's me. No. <sighs> All right, here's what we're gonna do. Norman, I want you to sketch out my new game plan. <gasps> it would be an honor. Helena, find us the quickest way back to Striker Land. Already have. I gotta warn you guys, I drive like I coach. We're well into the second half. And it looks like Super Strikers are finally out of ideas. This game's got stalemate written all over it. Rasta, seems it's been a testing time for you. And your coach. Super Strikers are all out of moves. Attack! Suddenly, Iron Tanks bring to life! Can they deliver a sucker punch in the final minutes? But really, Coach only said, like, four sentences. How is that beating around the bush? Seems pretty to the point if you ask me. Stop obsessing! You always do this! Hold it, Coach. Rule 8.43. Unlicensed coaches may not... Oh. Rule number one. Get out of my way. Iron Tank's attack gathers momentum. Wow, talk about fashionably late. But can Coach get his players to finish the game in style? Ah, relax. There's no way he could have come up with a new strategy. Not while doing the test. How's it going, boys? Not so great, Coachman. None of our strategies worked. Well, if going around, over, and through the Iron Curtain didn't work, we're gonna play Between the Lines. Strategy four. Sit in the space between the Iron Curtain's two lines, frustrating the tank and forcing them to make a move. Then, we take the gap. Can Super Strikers do what they failed to all game? Finish the move? They've dropped in between the defensive lines. Uber doesn't know whether to hold his position or go forward. Come on, come on! Oh, 
long do you have to be a coach for this to stop being so nerve-wracking? Beats me. Enough of this foolishness! But you still have a lot to learn if you want to make it as Super League coaches. Yeah, because going up against coach will be the toughest test of your lives. Welcome to Super League headquarters. Due to a security breach, we've decided to retest all coaches. This is ridiculous! Come on! I sympathize. Really, I do. But the rules are the rules. So, you're in the middle of the ocean. No land in sight. Behind you, Mondo Kahuna, the world's biggest, gnarliest wave. What do you do? Paddle till your arms burn, and then one, two, three, mop up! And then you get some runs. <laughs> <laughs> oh, come on, dude! You totally ruined my shot. Huh, for your fake reality survival show? It isn't fake. It's test footage. If I want to get my own series, I gotta show producers I got the chops to pull it off. Speaking of pulling off chops, grub's ready. Oh, yeah! Oh, oh, that's what know. I'm talking about. Hmm. Huge snowstorm heading for the Fortress Stadium. So we're leaving early to do some extreme conditions training. Up against Iron Tank? At the Fortress Stadium. Smack in the middle of the storm of the century. <laughs> what do you do? I'm finally here. My heart is pounding. 50,000 fans screaming. I can't get my breath. The whistle sounding. With every ounce of effort, every skill that I've got, I'll play the Super League. Every minute of the night, and now I'm gonna be a fighter. Cause one, two, three, I'm a super striker. Striker. Super strikers. Super strikers. Division, progress report. The drill has half been working double time, Colonel Von Push-Up. We expect to find it in a matter of minutes. Ya yeah, nine, you have been drilling for over three weeks. Why do you expect to find it now? Captain Uber, sir. I use statistical probability to determine that the longer we look for the artifact, the more likely it is we will find it. Hmm. Alps. 
We're gonna need some serious survival skills. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, how will we ever survive these only partially reclining seats? Huh? I and Tank? What are they doing down there? Salutations, team. Hey, Prof. Hey, Prof. Hi, Prof. According to my, um, calculations, a nearby cyclonic snowstorm enhanced by catabatic mountain winds means that in 48 hours, the weather will be inclement. Okay, that's fine, because we're in the Alps. Eh, I mean the climate will be intemperate, El Matador. No, 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 no. We're in the Alps. The weather's gonna be bad. What? I was just trying to help. As Northshaw said, playing Iron Tank during a megastorm is going to take some serious survival skills. And I know just the place we'll learn them. Day two. We're rendezvousing with the Coachmeister. The best place to find the conditions we can expect at the fortress? Ah. This is cool. And I don't mean cool, cool. I mean cold, cool. With conditions already this bad, you can only imagine what it's gonna be like when that storm hits the Alps this weekend. <laughs> huh? Shanks? Shanks? What are you doing, dude? Survival 101, bro. Always stick together. Look! Fine, fine, I'm coming. What took you so long? Wow, magnificent. It's greater than I could have even imagined. This is discovery. We will become the ultimate winter footballers. Gnarly yeah, dudes. toasty. Yes, that's more like it. Prof's new thermal kit should keep you comfortable in the cold. Now, meet your training opponents. The trees? Iron Tank are substantially bigger than us. So our advantage will be speed and agility. Ha <laughs> ha, easy. I'll just do a classic move like the El Mata Spill. <laughs> but... The freezing temperature and swirling wind make conditions slippery. So, what do you do? You'll be playing with special elongated studs for grip. Hand over the long guys, coach. We'd treat you to what it's going to feel like to lose. That was a rather wooden performance. Guys! It seems I uh, may have gotten my calculation slightly incorrect. Looks like the storm is actually going to set in, well, right now. Ah, uh, this isn't good, dudes. Anyone got any ideas? <clears throat> Say it. Ain't gonna happen, brother. Come on. No ways. You know you wanna. All right, all right, all right. What do you do? We need branches, some pine cones, and a whole lot of determination. The storm has moved in early. Excellent. The perfect training conditions for the Victor footballer program. The information we have gathered from you know what? We'll make this storm seem like a stroll on the beach. 
But this baby is the first we have seen in decades. Perhaps. But the data I have attained from, mm hmm comes from thousands of years ago. The Ice Age. Come match day, we will free Super Strikers out of the game. <laughs> Day three, we dug into the snow to create a hidey hole, sheltering us from the elements overnight. With the wind gusting up to 20 knots, wind chill took the temp down to way below freezing. Uh, north? Yes, cool Joe. Thanks for saving our skin, brother. What do you do is a hit in my books. No sweat, dude. But we gotta make it out of here if that first episode's ever gonna get made. Huh. Not likely, guys. That storm's still in full. Oh! Shake the blow! Shakes! Step aside, gents! You can't be serious, man. Guys, our buddy's down there somewhere. And North is the only one with the skills to go after him. What? He is. Day three and a half, and your teammate has fallen through the ice. All you have is a rope and your wits. What do you do? Ah! Not that. Whoa. Huh? But what do I and Tank want with a frozen caveman? I can't think. Ah. Have you seen it? You won't believe it. Truly incredible. Guess what happened to Thor's great, 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 great grandfather? I don't know what you're talking about. Come on. Do the face! No! Come on! I don't want to! That's an order! <sighs> <laughs> Gives new meaning to the term dead ringer! <laughs> <laughs> Attention! <laughs> Enough silliness! The Super Strikers game is in one day only! We are here to. Is that. Hey, Thor, I think your great-great-granddad is trying to tell us something. He's not my granddad, okay? <laughs> Don't worry. Rescue party's here, Shakes, bro. Intruders! Spies! Get them! You're in a cave with a frozen Iceman and I and Tank are after you. What do you do? Jump! <laughs> so, any advice on how to outrun these guys? Yeah, Mondo Kahuna. The giant wave. I thought you made that up. Everything on my show is real, Shakes. One. Two, three, pop Sign of anyone. Okay, return to cave for the next phase of the winter football program. 10 4, Colonel. <laughs> this real enough for you? Wow! Oh, cool. Wow! 
Is this real? <laughs> Quite remarkable. An impeccably preserved specimen. No, 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 no. This is not a specimen. It's an ice man. So, Prof, can you tell us more about him? He lived in the last ice age. You mean colder than this? I'm considerably cool, Joe. At that time, the whole of the planet was covered in ice. And I and Tank are studying a guy who lived through it. Guys, don't worry about this. We have our winter kit. We have our studs. We're ready for whatever I and Tank or the weather throws at us. I don't feel the cold. Iron Tank versus Super Strikers, who has the edge? This game really comes down to which team is better prepared for the conditions. Nice. 